Hey Legionnaires and fellow Orc Maggots, welcome back to Last Alliance Total War as we are all here to join Sauron's legions as he prepares to march against the Dwarven Kingdom of Erid Luin in this Last Alliance Total War land battle for you today. It's a glorious uh, land battle that I've been told that uh, comes, it's pretty close and it'll be good to see um, the Orcs of the North here lead the way again and see if they are strong enough to deal with a pretty strong dwarven faction i wouldn't say the strongest i personally think because doom is a little better but erid loon is certainly not to be sniffed at they got some pretty good units here got the royal swordsman they look epic by the way i mean we've got some really cool units in the back lines here we've got erid loon path guards as well a pretty mid-tier unit there they're just holding the line they've got three in the second he's a stone fist They've got, this is a kingdom with two kings, if I'm correct. So it's a pretty cool uh, faction, that's for sure. And it looks like we're about to see a bit of a charge here. It looks like we've got some Ed Loon warriors actually getting attacked by... Uh, what, are, what is this unit here? Skull Crushers of uh, Gundabad. Did I just see some axes getting thrown? That is pretty cool. But look at that. Already underway. Arrows been flying in as well, trying to yeah, take out these Ed Loon warriors. And yeah, look at that. Thrain the second already into the front lines here. He's got his uh, Firebeard's guard here already cutting and slashing through these orc lines. Getting rid of these dirty damn orcs that infect this Middle Earth. But yes, if you're enjoying Last Alliance and would like to see some more of this epic mod which uh, showcases the second age for Shogun 2, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here to comment show your support. It really does help out the channel. And yeah, as you can see, we've got some of those royal swords, but now they're getting in there. Actually, these are Erd Loon Belagos shield bearers. Thing with uh, Erd Loon, I feel like a lot of the units all look quite similar. It's quite hard to differentiate. But they do have some pretty cool ass looking ass, cool ass units, is what I was trying to say. The orcs here, the orc storm band going in. There is wags, by the way, over here. We got some some wag riders of Mount Gram here. They're going in. They're gonna get, I guess, go for a rear charge maybe. But the Erd Loon path guards are protecting. That rare, for a reason, these spearmen here. Uh, look at them, they look awesome. They really do. I do love the look of these guys. Uh, maybe they're just going to readjust the thing a little bit. Maybe protect their units a little bit more. But it is actually meaning that it's like three or four units out of the fight because of these wargs. Uh, just running around causing havoc. But uh, the dwarves, to be fair, they are more than a match for these uh, orcs. As you can see here already, this, uh, this, this spear unit here for the, the redheads of the high pass. They are losing already. No surprise there. They're getting fully encircled by dwarves here. And what, like, seeing this mod in action really just made me uh, wish that, like, Rings of Power was just a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie, that we had a bit better. Erid Loon, you know, already been routed, though. Erid Loon Warriors. So that's probably one of their lower tier units, but still. It shows that the Orcs of North cannot be messed with. Yeah, the dwarves are already battling away there. They still got uh, orc bodyguard, and they still got some executions in the back here. We've got some orc hunters as well. Maybe trying to get uh, around the flank, trying to get some rear shots on some dwarven units. Maybe you guys seem to have been enjoying Last Lines recently, um, and especially since I've been doing this Numenor campaign as well, we've obviously seen a large increase in uh, Last Lines love. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the Numenor campaign and would like to do so, feel free to uh, just... Uh, there'll probably be like a link for it somewhere, probably either at the end of the video or like midway through. You're more than welcome to go and click on that. Go and check out the Numenor campaign after you've checked out this awesome battle. These path guards here just poke their way to victory against the Skull Crushers of Gundabad. I guess, yeah, that is kind of like the faction that this, uh, like the Our Orcs of North are supposed attack. to be. And that we is Gundabad now. Orcs. You see them in The Hobbit and you're going to see them here as well. They're certainly not as big and imposing as they are in the Hobbit, that's for sure. But yeah, those uh, executions are actually winning against uh, Royal Swordsmen. So th that kind of is impressive, you know. These uh, executions, they're not to be messed with. These uh, these sword, these axe units here. An another Royal Swordsman here losing, but this one is surrounded by Red Heads of the High Pass and also Orc Hunters, which is a Javi unit. So um, they're not that great in melee, but I guess just the rear charge is helping to route these guys. Or maybe they just Javied uh, the Royal Swordsman.
What do we got over here? More Eridun path guards. Where is Thrain, by the way? Oh, we got the Wargs coming in. They have charged in. And yeah, that's into a path guard unit. That was a pretty good charge, but the Spears will exact their revenge onto these Wargs. Where is Thrain, though? That is what I'm worried about. He went into the fight oh, early on. His unit could be pretty battered. Units are starting to break, though, here as well. Skull crushes the Gundabad are breaking in center. Thrain is still alive, but he's only got 26 men left, and he's losing decisively to uh, Orc Bodyguards. It's general v. general, and yeah, I hope he's not one of these guys in here. Oh, he is, actually. Thrain is right there. I can see his crown. Oh, no. oh my gosh, Thrain, what are you doing, man? Keep an eye on him. He's cutting and slashing. Oh, he got hit hard. He got a big hit. Come on, Thrain. He can do it. Oh, I don't know who hit him, but he's dead. Thrain, you absolute coward. Get up. He's rolling down the hill. What are you doing? You did? Oh my gosh, look at that overreaction. Thrain, it wasn't that bad. I know you're dying, but it wasn't that bad. Oh my. But yeah, Thrain is now dead. That is going to be a huge morale blow there for the dwarves. They sent in their general really early on, and that was, I think, mainly because they had so many units in the rear that couldn't help. Um, I also just realized that the dwarves haven't really brought any crossbows or any range units. Only really the Orcs of the North have brought a few Orc hunters, and that's it. Um, and like I was saying, they're just a Javi unit. They're not even like a proper bow unit. So yeah, like, not a lot of range being brought in this game. Uh, Wargs are trying to now deal with these Eridan Luwin units here. We have got Royal Swordsmen, that are one on their right flank here. So even without their general, the Dwarves are still putting up a good fight here. And it seems as though we're going to see a Royal Swordsman going into combat here as well with Orc Bodyguard. So maybe they will be able to get some revenge and kill the enemy general, the Orc General. He's pretty isolated down there, to be fair. Um, there is also wargs in the forest over here. Couldn't think of a worse place to have them, really. Skull crushers down there. Yeah, these uh, Erdaloon path guards getting squished between skull crushers and wargs. Yeah, not a good combo there. Uh, I would try and route this left flank if I was the uh, if I was the orcs next, because that's really where they're weakest. You can see here already quite a few units wavering here, and now it's not going to be any better now that the wargs are in their back lines here. There you go. I don't know if that's any... They've routed it's certainly a unit. The Belagos shield bearer is still... They're still holding on. Good Javi volleys into these path guards, though. is helping to route them. There has been a rear charge here from the dwarves. Erdloom warriors, they're coming in. Trying to do some damage. Our army is tiring. And the wargs here, again, getting a pretty good rear charge into these spears. That might route them, to be fair. They are wavering. Losing decisively. I don't know, that unit looks like, it looks like it's running away, but it's not. It is still fighting. Dwar uh, the Wargs might need to give it one more charge. One more charge for luck. Over in the center, though, the Dwarves are certainly winning this fight, and the Wargs are trying to hold on. It's going to be close, that's for sure. It's going to be super close. Uh, the Spears actually rallied, and the Orc Hunters broke. I don't know if that Spear unit pulling out actually helped route the Orc Hunters. I'm not sure. I don't know if these guys still have Javis left. Oh, it's hard day. to tell. Our army is running from the field. We must rally our Again, though, here, look lost. at this. The Royal Swordsman. Um, look like they're actually going to... I don't know. They might come out with this one winners. The, the Wargs are charging the wrong side now into the uh, into the Dwarves. And there's a Path Guard set again trying to block off the, uh, the, the Wargs, allowing the Orc General over here to be surrounded and uh, hopefully butchered. If you're rooting for the Dwarves, that is, hopefully. If you're rooting for the Orcs... I mean, I can't trust you. We've got to put you on a list for that. Because who's who loves the Orcs, really? I love the Officer. He has just like a massive uh, longsword. I also just realized, talking about longswords, the Bath Rain, um, who I guess is like a shock general, they didn't really bring any shock units. And the uh, Arid Luin faction actually has a Berserker unit, which is really cool. Like a Dwarven Berserker unit. Just sound very, very cool. Oh, rip it piece to this guy getting stabbed in the neck. And there, down he goes. He's still a long time. What an absolute champ. Yeah, I don't think this old bodyguard is winning. Yeah, losing slightly. But it's only only slightly. Now I've seen that the wargs of Mount Graham are getting proper charges into these uh, Royal Swordsmen here. Hopefully they're doing some damage. They're still really healthy as well. 81 out of 100, that one's on. Got more dwarves routing over here. Path guards have given up. They've had enough. 
These high pass uh, redheads are holding on for now. They don't look like they're looking the right way though, most of them. And another charge there from the wargs into the back lines. Oh my gosh. These guys are probably going to have some insane kills. That is for sure. And they're helping around more units. Look at this. Arid Loom Warrior's breaking. And that's another Arid Loom Warrior breaking, I think. There you go. Wow. That is costly. So I don't know the elites that are left. Um, and maybe the spears. We're going to see a rear charge over here as well from the wargs. I wonder whether it's tiredness for the dwarves and also no general that's now starting to affect oh, morale. Our army is running from the but yeah, the wargs getting in amongst them. All is lost. I mean, if a war gets in amongst your ranks, it must be absolute chaos. They just start biting at things, you know, just chomping away. Be awful. And then you got the rider hacking down at you as well. Yeah, losing decisively this unit now because of that charge. That's pretty impressive from the wargs. I mean, this one's still fairly healthy as well. More orc hunters have returned. Whether they have ammo, like I said, that's a different matter. These guys look like they might still have ammo. They, they keep trying to uh, set up and shoot. Or throw. There you go. They are throwing still. So they still got some ammo. They need to be careful they don't hit their own wargs. Yeah, they're killing some of their own wargs. And again, they just charge into path guards head on. It's a very bizarre move. And Loon rolls swords over here. They're again getting sandwiched. These redheads, I feel like they're just fighting like a phalanx or something like that. I think it's just a phalanx formation. So if you get around that phalanx in circle, I think it makes it a lot easier to kill these guys. Orc bodyguard over here. Still fighting on. They're doing a good job. I mean, they've had support as well from the wargs. Hard to see what's going on really in the forest. So we will go and watch in the plains as the dwarves fight on here. Keep poking away, sir. Keep poking away. Another great charge there from the wargs into the back of the dwarves. It's another spear unit. I think they turned to try and take on the uh, the wargs at the last moment. It's not a bad strategy, actually. Just turn around and try and stab these guys as they come. But they are red morale, these, guys, these path guards. They might break here. The Orc Hunters somehow managing to beat them in combat. And there you go. One more charge from the uh, Wargs. That might break them. And also, like, Orc factions have a lot of morale debuffs that they they can uh, they can put onto their enemies. It wasn't exactly the most decisive of charges, but it might be enough. I mean, the, door, uh, the Wargs now are getting to very tired. They are pretty much knackered. Redhead unit over here is like combat even. I don't know how. The Orc Hunters here might need to get into combat or they're going to start jabbing again. And actually, those path guards did win their fight against the Orc Hunters. Um, just about. It looks like the Redheads are going to get surrounded and killed, but it's whether the Dwarves have anything to stop these uh, these Wargs. It doesn't seem like they do, obviously, because they have no range. Um, their spears are pretty low on men and morale. So they might just be at the mercy of the, of the Wargs. But it's easy if they can keep some infantry in the game to just do these rear charges. And again, another great charge there into Royal Swordsman. And it looks like they're running for their lives. They don't know they they're fighting against... I think the Orc Bodyguard's either dead or... No, he's not dead. He's still in there. He's just not being engaged anymore. They just gave up fighting him in the forest. Okay. Interesting move, I won't lie. I, I don't know why he decided on that. And here we go. Aaron Loon, you know, is still look like he might lose this. His morale is pretty damn low. Blood splattering the screen. And they come. And they have routed. I think they might be routing them. No, not quite. The northern kingdom here of the dwarves is very much under threat. Gonna, I think these guys are just going to try and charge the Orc and it's not a bad idea. They can't really do much else. It's not like they can charge down these wargs. I mean, it looks like the wargs are might route one of these Erd Luin swordsmen. The Royal Swords. Where's the other one? It's still over here. It's actually engaged with a couple of wargs, but that is it. This is all that's left now, really, for either side. 
these four units here for the uh, the orcs of the north, and then there's just three units buried loon. It is damn well close, that is for sure. Let's see how it how it finishes. Start slicing and dicing them, boys. Are they running? Like, when I see a dwarven unit just move off and it's not going in the direction of the fight, I'm just worried that it's going to break. The wargs, are, they don't exactly run out of the uh, combat very quickly. It does allow the, uh, the dwarves to get a couple of kills. Um, but yeah, it does seem as though... I imagine the orc bodyguard is going to go into combat down here. No, they're just going to have a standoff. I don't really know. They're just charging everywhere now, the, uh, the wargs. So I'm just going to fast forward a little bit because it's all that we're seeing right now. It's just some cycle charges, some javies. Uh, they are encircling and taking out that unit. That was easily done. They really need to do the same on the other side with the orc uh, bodyguards. Oh, it's going to be over sooner than, sooner than I thought. Okay, so it only took that, that other unit to be routed for army losses to come into effect. And Erid Lewin victory. is going to lose. And the Orcs of the North are going to win by the skin of their teeth. My gosh, it was close. Those Wargs coming in clutch at the end there. And we'll end the battle and have a quick look at the end results to see who has done the best. But yes, if you want to see more Last Alliance battles on the channel, and just generally more Last Alliance um, like mod stuff, whether it's more of the campaign or whether it's more... Like, just random battles. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show your support. And if you've got some Last Alliance battles that you want to send in, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. And we'll hopefully, and we'll see who, uh, who's got the most kills. I imagine the Wargs will for, uh, for the Orcs of the North. I'm not sure for the, uh, Dwarves of Ered Lewin. It could be anyone. Maybe Thrain. Who knows? But yeah, this was sent in by Ellen Anish, who was playing as the Orcs of the North. He had about 600 extra men. Um, and he had both sides. lost all basically all their army. It's insane. So here we go. Skull Crushers of Gundabad actually getting the most kills. 301 kills. Uh, Orcs coming in second, though. 282. Uh, yeah, another Skull Crusher getting 258. Yeah, Skull Crushers did well. Orc Bodyguard getting 228. Uh, the other Warg unit getting 180. Uh, Stormband getting 108. Generally, there are the rest of the kills for the orcs. If you want to have a look at those, then we have Ered Luin swordsman at 420 kills. Oh my! And then there's a quick drop to these Belagos shield bearers, 247, 202, 200 kills for the royal swords, and then we have Thrain here with 190 kills. We had not really any crossbows, which definitely could have come in handy. Oh, they did bring some berserkers. I they just died so quickly. So they only got 40 kills. Um, so yeah, they must have been just focused down or something or just. I say it. I don't know. They brought a second one here as well. 48 kills. Yeah, they did not do a lot to those berserkers. Um, but there you go, guys. So well done to uh, uh, Ellen and Ish and unlucky to Illumni uh, for uh, their battle. It was a, certainly a fun one. And yeah, if you want to see more, like I said, feel free to uh, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.